Welcome to the second interactive video modeling and explaining the skills associated with the Crucible LET assignment. Now that we have analyzed how the author utilized parallel plot structure, we will now address the other question implied by the prompt. Take a moment and look over the highlighted portion of the prompt to determine what that question is and how you will respond to it. You may leave your response in the class comments. You may have responded that this phrase in the prompt implies the following question. How effective is the author's use of parallel plot structure and why? When responding to this question, you will want to consider that all literary elements are used by authors for specific purposes, and you want to determine the implications of this specific literary element for an identified purpose. Since we are already discussing parallel plot structure and its development of the theme, we may want to discuss how effective the parallel plot structure is in developing the particular theme or themes we have identified. In our class discussion, some students have already argued that the parallel plot structure is effective because it emphasizes the topic on which the theme focuses and thus emphasizes the theme itself. As such, the exemplar that I provided models the development of this claim. As you review my exemplar, notice how I, once more, employ the skills associated with writing for explanatory texts, particularly the skills outlined under substandard B. Take a moment to read my first sentence of this body paragraph that analyzes the effectiveness of Miller's use of parallel plot structure, and note how this fulfills any of the requirements outlined next to substandard A. You may respond to this and discuss how you will emulate what I did, not what I wrote, in your own response to this part of the prompt. You may have responded by saying that the specific piece of criteria this sentence fulfills is the first part, introducing a topic. And I do so by making a claim about the topic, which is the effectiveness of parallel plot structure. And the claim is that the parallel plot structure is effective in developing the theme, and you may likewise introduce the topic by stating your own claim on the parallel plot structure's impact on the theme. After all, effectively developing the theme is not the only way parallel plot structure can impact the theme, as you will see later on. I'm merely leading with this example because it is the simplest. Now let us see how the other sentences in this paragraph fulfill the requirements of substandard B. So, for the second sentence, you may have responded that I am developing the topic thoroughly by selecting the most significant and relevant facts. Essentially, I am beginning to discuss events from each character's plot in the play that provide the reader with the context to prove my claim. Since the theme I identified is that people in theocracies are driven to commit heinous acts to salvage their reputations, I am beginning to provide context that exemplifies this theme to prove my claim. To do so, I have to discuss that both characters are forced into these positions that make them willing to sacrifice human life, which is the heinous act to which they are being driven. In the next sentence, I'm providing an extended definition of sorts, as I am stating that the context that I included in my previous sentence is the evidence for my claim. And the next sentence continues to provide an extended definition as I am explaining how that bit of context in which the plight of both characters is described proves my claim. Essentially, I am stating that the repetition of this topic makes it clear that the theme of the play is about this topic. In other words, since characters are constantly putting others in danger in order to protect themselves from the judgment of the theocracy, the author must be developing a message about this phenomenon. See how I executed these same skills in the next body paragraph, in which I introduce another claim about the effectiveness of the author's use of parallel plot structure with respect to a different purpose. Do look up any unfamiliar words as necessary, but the gist of this new claim is that the parallel plot structure adds to the theme providing an additional message about the effects of theocracies on the good and bad alike, as I mentioned in the last sentence of this paragraph. 
please leave your observations and comments as class comments to share your ideas with your peers. Now let's move on to the conclusion and the particular skills associated with concluding paragraphs. You may take a moment to comment your understanding of what those skills require of you in your own words. As always, look up any words the standards use that are unfamiliar to you. You may have responded that you have to explain how your overall claim was proven, and you can do that by succinctly recapitulating all of the points you made to prove your claim. With respect to articulating the implications or significance of the topic, you can discuss how the themes and the way they were developed are relevant to different aspects of society today. Uh, there are many ways to do this, but let's see how I have done this in my exemplar. You may have noticed that in this sentence, I succinctly restate my claim about the effectiveness of parallel plot structure with respect to the theme. And in the following sentences, I generally explain how the details of which I made mention in the body paragraphs support my claim. With respect to articulating the implications or significance, I discuss how the author, in developing this theme about the impacts of theocratic governments, provides a warning about governments having too much power in more contemporary societies. Remember, this play about the events in the 1600s was actually written in the 1950s, so the author might be drawing a comparison between the events of the Salem Witch Trials and the possible outcomes of too much government control during the time in which the play was written. And I explain this and leave the reader with a final thought, that it may be wise for all societies to heed this warning. And now for the introductory paragraph, in which the specific substandard A could be focused. Revisit the substandard and explain precisely, in your own words, how one could execute these skills. You may do so in the class comments. You may have responded that this standard requires one to introduce and organize all the topics that will be discussed in a way that makes sense, with the introduction of one topic logically building from the previous topic that was introduced. One way to accomplish this is by demonstrating how each of the topics are connected and there are several topics to connect in this prompt. The crucible, parallel plot structure, the theme, and the effectiveness of the theme. Take note of how I connected all these topics in such a way that the introduction of each topic builds off of one another. You may once again leave your response in the class comments. If you take a look at the first two sentences, you will notice that in the first sentence I already connect two topics parallel plot structure, and themes. I do so by stating that parallel plots are used to develop themes in different narratives. Then, in the next sentence, I describe what those terms mean, as the reader might need to know what those terms are in order to see how the two topics are interrelated. This actually incorporates a bit of the substandard B, but the substandards will overlap at times. Then, in the next sentence, I relate both topics of themes and parallel plot structure to the crucible by stating that parallel plot structure is used in the crucible and that this narrative provides a specific example of use of parallel plots to develop a theme. So, each topic that is introduced builds off the previous detail by demonstrating how the newly introduced topic relates to the previously introduced topics. Also, notice how I go from speaking about each topic in very general contexts to more specific contexts. I initially state that parallel plot structures are used in literature in general, and then I discuss that they are used in the crucible specifically, and in this last sentence I specifically state what the theme is in the play that is being developed through the parallel plot structure. Remember that the Literature History Connection project will be introduced this week as well, so you may want to discuss the implications or significance of the development of the theme that you discussed as it pertains to the time period during which this play was written. That may require some research on your part, but it will prime you 
for the next project.